There's so much to talk about, isn't there? At all clubs at this uh, early stage of the season, Arsenal, of course, impressed their first game out in the new Premier League season at Crystal Palace last season. They uh, obviously are involved in transfer speculation as well. We talked about the heat. We talked about the difficulties of playing in the heat, talked about the team news. But, of course, most questions were on that documentary and those scenes uh, looking really, really closely and showing in great detail the moments where Aubameyang was stripped of the captaincy. We had a little bit of banter, actually, as he walked into the news coverage. You'll, you'll know that uh, in that documentary it was shown that uh, Mikel Arteta kept a dossier, kept a file on um, Aubameyang's timekeeping and misdemeanours. And so when he walked into the news co conference today, four minutes late, I said to him, uh, Mikel, we're, we're keeping a file. We're keeping a file. You can't be late. And he said... I'll pay a fine. So he got into the right spirit right at the start of the news conference and then talked about that documentary and those scenes and said he had no regrets either about the way he dealt with Aubameyang or with the fact that the, that the situation was filmed in its entirety. Listen, it's a long time since that happened. I cannot go back every time there is uh, another series. Uh, I have made my comments on that. I was really clear and honest with my opinion and... Uh, what has been done is always been done to defend our club and put the club in the best possible position and being always as clear, as honest and as consistent as we can. It was referred to in the episode last night, which I'm sure you haven't had time even to see, uh, the, the dossier, the file that you kept about his misdemeanours and his timekeeping. Have you had any requests from Chelsea to have a look at that file? Boba is an exceptional player. He did so much for us. Um, he was our captain and I think we have to be grateful, very grateful as well for what he did for this club. So if he does come back to the Premier League and comes back to the Emirates, you feel he'll get a, a good reception? I hope he does because I think he deserves that. Uh, there are moments in life, there are moments in your career and, uh, and sometimes the trajectories or, or the objective of each individual is different to the clubs and, and you have to respect that. So taking in good spirit their uh, suggestion uh, that it's doing the rounds that we understand that Sky Sports News that Aubameyang may be on his way back to the Premier League to link up a game with uh, Thomas Tuchel at Chelsea. He says there are no hard feelings between him and Aubameyang. He said there, didn't he? He did a great deal for the club. But he said it was the culture of the club that he saw when he arrived as the head coach that he wanted to change. He wanted to change the culture so that uh, Chelsea could sorry, Arsenal could move forward. He spoke about pride, happiness, respect, accountability, passion, enjoyment, all the things he wanted from his players and he believes he's now got. The club's main objective at the beginning to try to completely change that and, and create, install and, um, and make people that are participating in daily basis with the club proud, happy and accountable for their jobs and I think we have that and I think you can see that level of uh, commitment and passion transmitted to our supporters and that's why at the moment there is such a unity at the club. So at, at times heated, wasn't it, in that documentary, heated around this place, heating in the dressing room. It's going to be hot on the pitch at the Emirates tomorrow as well as they take on Leicester in their first home game of the season. Mikel Arteta says he's really grateful about the water breaks. He's really grateful that there are now five substitutes, he says, which will help deal with that mid-afternoon sizzling heat. Team news-wise, it's pretty good for Arsenal going into that game. Tomiyasu, Vieira and Smith-Rowe all trained this week and are all available for selection.